first of all, congratulations for that great fight between Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin. Thank you. But I want to know your opinion about the decision and what your thoughts like a uh, few weeks from that fight. Well, it was a, it was a great fight. It was a great promotion. Uh, the event was in uh, over 200 countries. So the event itself was great. The decision, I mean, we thought uh, Gennady won the fight uh, pretty clearly. But, uh, you know, both guys are great ambassadors for the sport. I think the event was great for the sport and for the fans. And the fans want to see a rematch. So we're going to work, uh, we're going to do our best to do a rematch with Canelo in May. Hopefully we can work it out and then uh, the fans will get to see it again. You already began the conversation between the Golden Boy and... Yeah. I started uh, last week. I had a conversation with Eric Gomez. And so we're going to do everything we can on our side to, uh, to make the rematch happen. What's the possibility, the real possibility? I think, it's a good pos I, no, I think it's a good possibility because it was a very successful event. And uh, I know Gennady wants it as his priority. So um, I think Canelo will, uh, will do it. I mean, we, uh, we owe the, the fans the rematch because they, they want to see the, the, the two uh, great fighters in the ring again. Do you speak with Bob Bennett about Adelaide Bird, about the, that decision? Yeah, he's still uh, looking into that situation. It's just, uh, it was just such a wide score, but uh, you know there were uh, two other judges and one had it a draw. We didn't agree with that either, so um, we think the referee did a great job and uh, Dave Moretti scored it fine, but uh, you know we'll, do, uh, we'll uh, just make the best of the situation if, uh, if the rematch happens. Do you consider the possibility to move the fight to another state, maybe, in, I don't know, New York or maybe another place? Well, just like the first time, I know uh, Madison Square Garden is very interested. I know uh, Cowboy Stadium is very interested and uh, Las Vegas definitely wants to have it again. So we'll see what's the best situation. It's not just about the uh, commission or the uh, officials. It's also uh, so much else involved with the publicity, with the financial revenue. So uh, we'll have to see what's the best situation. If it does happen, it would be uh, Cinco de Mayo for next year. And for you, what is the best? For me? Yeah. Uh, I, I like to see uh, Cowboy Stadium with 100,000 people, you know. But uh, Las Vegas had great atmosphere. It was a big party all week. All fight week, we had over 9,000 fans at the weigh-in. And I know uh, if Madison Square Garden had the opportunity, they would definitely want to have it at the... Uh, the mecca of boxing so we'll, we'll see uh, what will be the best situation uh, also will be a, a joint uh, decision with golden boy and we'll see what's what will be the best uh, to, to make the rematch and about the paper in numbers uh, what will be like going out to know the real numbers they're still putting it together but it did it did very well uh, hbo was happy with it uh, we were happy with the numbers you know we did uh, a tremendous amount with the ticket sales um, and like I said, the uh, I think the, the fans and the sport are the ones with the winners uh, for the fight. So that's why it's really our obligation to, to, to make that fight again. And about the mandatory challenger for Gennady, he has to wait now because Mauricio Suleiman talked about the immediate rematch. Yeah, uh, Mauricio ordered the uh, immediate rematch. So... Um, you know, it, it takes the pressure off of uh, having to do a mandatory fight, but a fight like this is really bigger than uh, than a mandatory, and, and uh, this is the fight that the fans want to see uh, as soon as possible.